namaste thank you for stopping by this is lifestyle which is versatile so if this is you returning again to this channel I say thank you so much for coming back again okay so um, in my previous video I actually talked about them the end SARS protests that we have currently been on in my country and stated my position well I did promise that I'll be bringing you updates um, on how it's been going but unfortunately um, I've not been able to do that mostly because of the recent turn of events exactly on the 20th of October um, we called it the Black Tuesday because we don't know who but the gov because the government has denied who did it um, the military were called upon someone to attack the protesters and lives were lost, people were injured, a lot of casualties were recorded and ever since then it's been one mishap after the other. We've had um, hoodlums taking advantage of that and burning government property, burning up private stores and destroying people's means of livelihood. Meanwhile, the states where this happened, which is Lagos State, alongside some of the states around who have been impacted by this whole protest thing, um, it's recorded that hoodlums have taken um, advantage of this protest and the government is now blaming the protesters and saying that it was the protesters that were doing this. But we are not deterred, we still stand for the fight. Um, the unfortunate thing, or would I say fortunately or unfortunately, whichever you think would suit, um, it has also caused an uprising of groups of sects coming to, coming up, rising up. You have the IPOP, you have the um, Ijo people rising from the Potakot area, you have the IPOP from the eastern part, and everyone is like standing up for their own tribe and people. Now, unfortunately, um, this is going to more or less linger or tilt towards the ethnic, uh, tribal, and religious angle. Up north here where I am, you have more of Muslims coming against the Christians, burning churches and um, burning Christians' means of livelihood and um, killing people in the process. While in the West, it seems as though there are Igbos, I mean it's Igbos, the Easterners against the um, Westerners, but that's not the case. And um, well, the Easterners up in the East are just being protective in case um, and they want to, so there wants to be an uprising. Although in a particular um, state in the North, it was recorded that the Igbos went after the houses, that's the Easterners going after the houses. So it's becoming terrible and then we are actually in a curfew currently and it is I mean everyone now has to watch out for themselves we we're no longer um, bothered so much about wearing masks and you know catching the coronavirus um, we're now more concerned about stray bullets flying up about you know so when you are walking on the road you're looking at every corner or around you and being watchful and mindful well um, considering that our government has given up on us like denied the whole process and also denied us the ability to protest or to continue our protest as we have been threatened well we choose to go online and continue with our protest and what we are agitating for so we continue until the birth has been done until the birth has been accomplished we move we continue um, I will also be including to this video um, tweets as I did promise so we'll be including tweets and likewise um, mentioning the people who have died through police brutality and for whom we took up on this protest and have been clamoring for change and police reform so it is indeed a moment for us just please wherever you are pray with us pray for this country um, we hope it doesn't divide anyways so this is the much um, enjoy the views the tweets and um, you know pray for the souls of the departed i'll leave you with the rest of the clips from the tweets and the progress that was recorded in the course of the protests thank you so much and see you in the next videos i'm sure after this video i might not be doing any more um protest videos again and 
I'll go back, um, you know, into what we are used to, what this channel is used to, and take it up. You know, we need to change the tempo. You know, lives have been lost, but we keep alive for them and we move. Okay, so for now, it is Namaste, love, and light. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, just subscribe. Oh, pardon me for my low countenance. But I'll be back in the next video, more happier, okay? Peace. Jimo Ishak, Slick, Ayomide Taiwo, Peter Oforum, Chika Ibeku, Chibuike Anams, Ifoma Abugu, Christian Onibu, Emmanuel Igbo, Victor Madumago, Chide Odunuwa, Stephen Abanim, Tony Oruama, Tiamu Kazim, Musab Samani, Kolade Johnson, Onovo Matthew, Chinedu Ani, Precious Odua, Richard Gora, Chijoke Iluanya, Linda Iguatu, Daniel Teller, Harry Ataria, Johnson Nemeka, Femi Bello, Chima Ikunado, God Gift Ekerete, Gabriel Owoicho, Tina Ezekwe, Modebayo Awoshika, Daniel Adewuye, Chukwemeka Matthew, Azuamaka Madumeiko, Rinji Bala Uziel, Joseph Ubeni, Anita Abbasen, Chibuike Daniel, Ika, Ikea Gucci, Ifani Ozo, Chinedu Menru, Augustina Aribu, Anthony Mokike, Paulinus Obona, Ekenna Isaac Megbe, Emeka Ojinze, Ademola Moshud, Ismaila Ayin Anila. Miracle, Sunday, Joy, Ndubweze. We are here for you. Your names will forever be remembered in our hearts. God bless you. Tina Ezekwe, all she did was stand by the bus stop. Chibuke Anams. He was killed while sitting with his friend in a guest house. Kolade Johnson, killed at the football viewing center. Frederick from Edo State, killed during an argument with a policeman. Tiamui Kazim, he was a footballer that was pushed out of a moving SARS vehicle. Eyomide, Eyomide Taiwo, he was killed because he refused to give 50 naira bribe. Ifoma Ibugu, she was raped and murdered while in detention. During the protest, policemen deployed, killed four more people. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Let our voices be heard. End police brutality. End SARS now. So for those of you who don't know the story of Chijoke, I'm just going to tell you what happened quickly. So Chijoke was 20 years old in 2012, and he went for a child dedication. He was picked up there and he was, taking, he was allegedly taken to Star's office. When his family went to look for him, they were told that he had been taken to the headquarters. They went there to find him. His mother spotted him being brought into the station and she said, that's my child. And the officer in charge of that station, the notorious Nwanfo, asked them to boot her and the family out of the premises and then they were pushed out. Since then, they haven't seen Shidoke again. The next time they went, the officer one for boasted that he killed, he shot Chidoke, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. They searched for him, and then some other officers told the parents that it's possible he hasn't died, that the man could just be bluffing. They should bring some money to bribe him. The father brought some money. The officer said the money was too small. The father went, sold his land, sold some properties, raised three million, gave it to the man. The man said three million was chicken change. And the most horrifying part of this story, if you are a parent, that man, CSP Wafo, 
make Chichoke stand to, to look for Chichoke's body in a river of dead bodies. He made him turn every single corpse upside down, searching for his son. I can't imagine what that man was going through. One part of him would think, let me find this body so that we can have closure. Another part of him would think, let me not find this body so that we can have hope. This is the impunity with which officers have treated us. They came to Abuja to seek justice. The state CID told them they would have to pay money to transport others down to the state where it happened to investigate. We have no system. We cannot get tired. Are you tired? Good morning, everybody. Um, I feel like some people don't understand the context of what these um, NSAS protests represent in the history of Nigeria. SARS is a physical representation of what the Nigerian state is to the average Nigerian youth. First of all, they steal from us, they abuse us. When we fight back, they kill us. This is a country that has not done anything to support the average Nigerian youth in chasing their dream. Multiple taxation. VAT is 7.5%. They increased it. We pay stamp duty charge. Increase the price of uh, electricity tariff. Fuel price went up. The hospitals are not working. People are dying because they can't raise 2,000 naira to pay hospital bill. Hospital bill of 2,000 naira. Less than five pounds. The educational system for Nigeria sets you back 20 years. You can compete with your peers on a global scale. And then you are telling me that, oh, we need leaders to represent the protests so that they can negotiate. You are mad. You are me? You are mad. You both campaigned, protested elections. And you are telling me that the people that you are representing, you don't know what they need. That's what you are telling us. That now all of a sudden, you are gotten there. You don't know what they need. Abir, 